welcome back to another episode of me doing my own hair today i'm gonna be doing invisible locks i know you guys have been seeing it and i'm so excited to do this style if it comes out ugly i'll show you guys exactly what i'm gonna be using it's gonna be some marley hair from made this comes out cute but i'm not rambling i'm gonna give all the information while i'm doing my hair I might do a little voiceover just so that i don't have to um have a long intro let's get started yeah hey y'all i'm gonna be using locked in for the gel today i usually use shining jam but i wanted something a little bit more tacky i don't know why but um this is what i'm using i am sectioning a piece of my hair off that is going to basically turn into one twist so i split that into two and what i'm doing right here is basically you know when people cornrow hair you know to the scalp I'm basically like twisting my hair to the scalp, picking up piece by piece and just picking up as I twist and go down, move down. That's what I'm doing. I feel like a lot of other people in their videos, they're just twisting one piece of hair and another piece of hair and putting it together. I really wanted that like, like, you know, like fresh, freshly twisted lock, you know, look. So that's what I did. I'm applying the gel to the section of hair making sure that i'm saturating it all at my roots um combing it through you know making sure it's detangled then i'm going to take a little piece at the top and twist that then i'm going to start grabbing as i go down and twisting at the same time grabbing and twisting grabbing and twisting grabbing and twisting then i'm going to twist these two strands together and this is going to be where I add the hair at. Now I want to make sure this stays tight. So I'm going to twist it a little bit more. Then twist it together. So I am going to grab some of the Marley hair. I did separate the Marley hair into two. Boom. Uh, make sure you guys watch the whole video so that you can see how I tried the other method and how it looked and what it did for me because I want you guys to see the difference of what I'm doing here and the difference of the other method that is also in this video. So make sure you watch the entire video and stay tuned to see which method works for you or what you like better. Also, this is the hair I am using 18 inch Cuban twist by Maid. Um, it is pre-stretched and I got the color 30. So these will not unravel. And a lot of people ask that whenever I do twists. These are not going to unravel just because the Marley hair is so kinky and, you know, uh, very textured. It's not going to unravel. It might start twisting the opposite way a little bit just to loosen up and become more juicy. But overall, it's not going to unravel. Then for the bottoms, I did like, I think it's called a barrel twist or barrel roll. You know what they do on regular locks. You basically want to make a pinch a little bit of hair at the bottom. And then start wrapping upwards. I make a knot once I get to the end. Boom. And then I just um, wrap that small piece very tightly all the way around going down. And then it just stays. style of music was necessary for the time being. It gave me a little piece of information that I've always ran with, and that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. Mm -hmm. 
So now that y'all seen this method, let me show y'all the other method. This is the method that everybody I've seen doing invisible locks is doing. They're basically separating two pieces of hair as, as I do. Then they're taking a small piece at the bottom of one section and braiding it or doing a small braid or small twist. And they're doing that on both sides of the sections. After that, they're putting the hair that they are using, crocheting it basically through the small little braid. Then after that, they are, you know, twisting each side and then twisting it together. I tried this method. I personally didn't like the effect that I got from it. I also thought it took like a lot more time to do. Uh, not sure if this does make the hair last longer or not. I do have to give y'all an update once I do my trial run with this hairstyle on how I did it. But this is how I've been seeing everyone do it. For me personally, I like the method I started out with better. But I just thought I should show you guys or at least try this method that everybody's been doing. Maybe I'm doing it incorrectly, but this is the way I've been seeing it and just try to mimic off that. But yes, I do prefer the first method that I started the video off with um, better. This is how it turned out. I personally wasn't feeling it. So I went back to the method I was um, doing before. And that's to always keep the funk in everything I do. So I've seen a lot of people use the Afro twist hair. Um, I do really like Afro twist hair. Um, if you do decide to use Marley hair, of course you have to make sure that you keep it saturated. I'm using Marley hair in this video. Make sure that you keep it saturated with some type of cream moisturizer, some type of something just so that your hands are not just getting dry. And you, um, you know the hair is pretty much kinky so you want to make sure that your hairs just stay moisturized and the twists just stay moisturized just so they're not looking dry or stiff or anything like that what does that feel like bro it was organic and we felt like this style of music was necessary for the time being it gave me a little piece of information that i've always ran with and that's to always keep the funk in everything i This is the end result. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram to see the pictures and everything I'll be posting. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end result. I'm going to try to style these. Just, just see what it's giving. But make sure you follow my Instagram. I'll leave it here on the screen. Um, make sure you follow me on TikTok too. And I'll see y'all next time.